I want to say right at the start of this video, I do not collect AOS. I really have no interest in AOS, but what I've just read, what has just happened, what Games Workshop has just done, I think needs to be spoken about because this could happen to people like me who are interested in 40k, horrors, heresy people, you kill team, just anything really. Anything in their range now is really up for grabs. And I really do think that this is a really awful thing that Games Workshop is doing. Uh, my heart goes out to people who are collecting AOS, who, who play AOS and stuff like this. So I really don't agree with this business practice. I really do think it's absolutely shambolic what they've done. Now I'm going to jump over to this window because I'm sure some of you are wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Um, Warhammer Community put out this dedicated article today and it says what's leaving the Warhammer Age of Sigma range and these, these, there's a number of models. I'm just going to quickly go through them. Stormcast Eternals, um, the Skaven range, uh, uh, Bone Splitters, um, Slaves of Darkness, um, Beasts of Chaos um, and you know some others down there. I want to start from the top because the top bit is is the main one, really, and that is Stormcast Eternal. So people who don't really follow AOS, Stormcast Eternals are kind of like the Space Marines of AOS. That's the way I've seen them. Um, they're like the main faction. They always get an update when there's like new um, additions coming out and stuff like that. And what's happened now, they've basically said they're going to be fading these models out, which, if I'm not mistaken, I've got a shelf life of around... 10 years let's say a max of 10 years so not even 10 years old some of these models and games workshop is saying nope they're going from the game and again what i said at the start of the video i think this now affects the entirety of the hobby sphere what games workshop does because if they can get away with something like this like saying okay the models that you've had for 10 years we're just going to fade them out we're going to throw them away i i, I will guarantee they're going to start doing it for 40k Horus, Heris, uh, all the other game systems, they'll just keep trying to get rid of these massive models, well, should I say massive armies that you've invested a lot of money into, by the way, and just trying to make you get new stuff. Like, for me, as a hobbyist, I love collecting models. I, I'm, I'm more of a collector than I am a gamer. So to see, like, models like this disappearing, like, really nice models, by the way. I've always said AOS, for me, has some of the best, if not the best, fantasy models out there. And for Games Workshop to come in and just say, no, we're just dropping the axe and chopping off the head of these, and they're slowly fading away, going into Legends. And you know what happens when they, when, when they go into Legends? They just fade out, and they... They, they just fade away once once in a while like you will get some game time out of them and stuff like that if you're playing with friends and stuff but more or less for me when it goes into legends it's more or less the death of the model they don't get updated rules or anything like that or they hardly get updated rules and stuff uh, when it comes to those models and gw just see them as you know let's put them to one side and let's focus on the new stuff i'm all about getting new stuff i love new stuff i love new models i love getting new models everything like that but i really feel like to go in and butcher something like this to to this degree, I really do think it's a really, really bad thing for Games Workshop to do. And again, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, I really do think now, if this can happen to AOS, and AOS is their main fantasy range at the moment, as far as I'm aware, like, Old World is, is cool, it's amazing and stuff like that, but AOS is their main fantasy range. If they can do this with AOS... They can probably do it with 40k. They can probably do it with horror heresy and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, it, it's kind of like having the Primaris Marines that we've just had, like the normal aggressors and stuff like that for GW to come out and say, all right, we're fading aggressors away now. Come and buy this new type of aggressor. I Like, I don't know, an aggressor plus or something like that. Like, that's how stupid it sounds, but this is, this is what's absolutely happening now. And I absolutely hate that... <sighs> that I have to sit here and record this video because I think it's absolutely crappy. Like, I've always said, I love GW products. And a lot of people call me a simp for that. You know, say I'm like always licking GW's ass and stuff like that, which I get because I, I love Space Marines. But this is why I'm always trying to get across is that I love the products, but some of their business decisions that they make, it makes me hate the company. It makes me hate the people that, uh, well, maybe hate's a, a bit of a strong word, but it makes me dislike the direction that this hobby that I absolutely love, I absolutely adore, because I love the stories, right? I love the lore, like the Horus Heresy, the, the Siege of Terror, the 40k novels, the stories, the Space Marines, the Primarchs and stuff like that. I love all, like, I love talking about it so much, but the direction sometimes the business element of this company goes into, it makes me just look at it and just like, oh, this is, this is terrible. It really, really, it makes me feel disgusting about the company. Maybe that's a bit too far, but it, it, it really, for me, this business practice, 
is something that I absolutely 110% disagree with. Anyway, Chaparunios, there's not much more to say. I hope this doesn't come across as a drama farm llama video. I know we always banter and talk stuff like that, but I do, do see this as a really serious video. As I keep saying, as I keep throwing it out there, the shelf life of some of these models, well, especially the Stormcast Eternals, um, this shouldn't be happening at this point in their lives. I know some people will probably bring up, well, they do say in the article, Valrak, about the rules. They've got to keep, um, you know, giving them rules. Take it from me. Someone who's, look, look, look right there, right? Look at that right there. That big cheese of a Stormbird, which went to Legends. And it's never going to get probably models, sorry, rules or anything again. No love again. It's just going to remain that big chunk of cheese that is going to be sitting on my floor. I really do think once a model does go to Legends, it's just an excuse for Games Workshop to ignore it for as much as possible. And again, I go back to the subject. For models that have been here for like 10 years, that shouldn't be happening with how much money you chaps are investing um, into these models and, you know, giving Games Workshop stuff. It just shouldn't be happening at this stage of their lives. Sorry if this co comes across as negative. That's not my intention at all. I always try to be, you know, happy and buzzing and smiley, smiley over here. But I think when you see things like this, I think we should all stand up and speak out if you agree with me. I'm hoping that more content creators who are in the, the war hemisphere start making videos about this and start speaking out about uh, about Games Workshop, especially if you're partnered with Games Workshop, if you know receive products, hopefully you can contact someone how you contact them and just say, hey, you know, I'm not happy with this. This is this is really, really crappy. You know, I'm, I'm getting people into the hobby because you're sending me the stuff and you're killing, you're killing it. You're taking models away from us rather than, well, you are giving us new ones, but you, you're taking more, right? Stop it, please, please, please stop it. Anyway, enough waffling for me. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great night, wherever you are in the world. And if you've got any thoughts or feedback, post it down below. And we can have a little chin wag down there, as we always do. See ya, and bye-bye.